We're so used to government and to rule and to order that it is a very strange disequilibrium to go in a place like Eastern Congo where there is no order and no rule and no government. The first time I think I encountered that was at one point in Ghana where I was driving down a road. I was a university student driving down with a friend and two drunken soldiers stopped us at a checkpoint and robbed us and held us a while. And we realized that they could let us go after a little while or they could shoot us and throw us in the jungle. And the fear that I felt then, I will never get over. It was probably useful to have a really scary experience like that, a reminder of my own mortality early in my career because whenever I go down a road today, I think about that and I try to reduce the chance that they're gonna, I'm gonna meet soldiers like them just around the bend. In a career reporting, I've heard a lot of really wrenching stories uh, about murder and rape and everything else. And at this point, I say, and I'm, I'm really not proud of it, I'm maybe a little embarrassed about it, that I, I can listen pretty dispassionately to the most inhuman stories. And they, most of the time, don't you know, really bother me. Maybe it's that sort of clinical role of a, of a surgeon somewhere in operating theater, but I can you know, approach things normally as a journalist and, and um, treat it with a certain amount of professional distance. Yeah.